Hi, welcome to Don's Workshop. Today I'm going to be giving an update on my LEGO storage design. Last time I had uh, initial shelf designs, or a working shelf design with this. This has been, uh, this had been working, but it takes a long time to print. It's using quite a lot of extra filament to create these uh, shelf holding elements, and I had to make these, uh, extend these out, these lips out here, to hold the shelves in anyway, and I decided that I, this is all I need. I don't, I don't need these extra kind of drawer hangers to, to hold the, the drawers in. So, and also I had designed the extra, the half-sized one to go in the full-size one, as long as, along with the quarter-sized, uh, inserts and these have been working well you can mix and match them can use half you can use part of one and you can have them fully put in and they go in nicely in there and they for the most part have been working well as soon as I made these lips a little bigger uh, they've they've been holding up the drawers just fine the only thing is like putting them together I've just resorted to using some tape to stick them together so they didn't move around too much. Now I wanted to make it a bit easier to print this and have it use less filament and reduce just some of how much it's using. So I started working on that. I've been working on that for the past week or so. Actually drawing it up in CAD and tr getting something uh, to print and testing things out. So. This is where I'm at right now with what I have designed. What it is is it would be made up of three parts um, uh, all together. So the there's the rear piece. This goes on the back. It's got the extra uh, framing in there just to stop the drawer from going and a little more strength. There's the front piece that's just going to have to for the drawer to go into. So this has to be fully have the drawer go through that while the rear piece will come up against the drawer back there. And then this side piece, which is would be the same two side pieces, which are just the same for both sides. So I've been working on this and printing up some different versions of it. I've got a few different versions I have tried to just with a couple of different things I've been trying out uh, with having the drawers stack up with each other and connect. So one of the, the one idea to have the front and rear panels connect to the side panels was to put some holes in the sides or just holes in there and have that kind of slide in like that and then use some connector of some sort. So Initially, it's like, what should I use? So I was thinking bolts and nuts and whatnot, and but those start to get um, much. I want to make it just sort of easily 3D printable and not have too much to do, but you need, I need something. So I decided to try to make the holes fit a Technic uh, pin and see if I could have that hold these together as well as being used to hook multiple shelves together. So I finally, it took a while to get the holes the right size because it is not uh, the easiest thing to get the holes to print the right size, especially when I have one piece printing. This prints this way, so it makes the holes pretty nice and round, but I need these front and back pieces to print facing down like this. So the holes are then being printed from the side. And when the holes are printed from the side, it doesn't work great. It makes them a bit oblong. So I took a multiple prints of the front and back to try to get the holes the right size. Because they started off too small, and I made them a little bigger, and I still had to make them bigger yet. And uh, now I got them so that the pin on this front one, as well as this side one, 
will go through the hole here. It's not, it's, yeah, it's, it, we're in there not too bad. And I put two pinholes because I just kind of thought it would require at least two. And so far, just from the testing, from like trying to do this, I do think two is, two are needed to keep it in there. But once that's in there, it's in there pretty good. And it'll, it'll, the Technic pins hold up lots of stuff for lots of Lego models. So I figured they would be a good choice to fit in like that. And then if you have multiple drawers that you have same side by side, they would just slide the Technic pins in together and you would have all of these drawers being able to be hooked together like that. So it took a while to try to get that hold, those holes the right size. It also took a while. Uh, I was trying to have some sort of uh, notch on the top to hold the kind of just hold them together or hold them in place when they're stacked. It's not to hold them to, together, just to have some notches to just kind of hold them together. So I started off with like a, a ridge, a triangular type ridge that would be is in the top and the bottom here. So they would just be able to sit like the the triangular piece would sit like like in the in the ridge on the top. It's kind of sit. And there you go. It'd be just all of it would sit together. And that takes up that ended up like this is ending up taking up a lot almost as much as the uh, the the drawer hangers on the this design. So I decided I probably don't need so much material and I don't really need it on the side parts. I figure I just need it on the front and back and that would be enough to just have it hold in place. Uh, I tried, so I, and I just turned it into just a, extending the side up a little bit up through the top and then removing it from the bottom uh, so they would just stack on each other. So on this is where I've gotten it to, so it's just that's on the top and then this notches out of the bottom and then it can just sit on top like so. And then it would, it could stack them up and it did, then they don't have to, or they don't move too much once they're stacked on top of each other. And so that's, that seems to work okay. Um, I don't know if I like it that much. The other part that took a while to get was just the size of the, the notch to make sure that it actually could slide in. So I've had to reduce the, the thickness on here and had to try to make it so this notch was uh, wider and wider each time. And eventually now it's, I finally got it to a point where it does slide in easily. So I think that'll work out. But as I've been putting these together and taking them apart, putting the pins in and whatnot, feeling like this is maybe uh, not going to be too great. I would like to get it so that I could have this similar to the, the original design where I could have maybe it stack three high. So I'd have like three of these printed or this just kind of printed three high too high or three high and the walls would be like this and I'd have to notch two pieces, two fronts, two, two backs and everything. And those would all be like two or three high as well. And I felt like that was not, I feel that that's not going to be great. So I'm trying to figure out a better way to do this again. It does, when it's all hooked together, it does hold the drawer in. So the main thing that's needed is, is this, is these bottom lips to hold the, the drawer in. So, and this will require, if it's it like this with the notches like that, it will need the front and the back to properly hold them in. So, cause I was thinking maybe, can I just do the back? But if I just do one side, then the, the these parts will kind of float around a little bit too much and it won't be consistent enough for the drawer to kind of go in. So this does work. 
uh, everything's not perfectly aligned because this is multiple pieces, but it does work. The drawer slides in. So I do think that would hold it up. It's strong enough to hold it up and everything. But I just would like to get away from the front because if I can print it without having that, that uh, the full front piece on, it makes it a little easier to print. Because then I could just have two sides print and just and the back. But it just needs something to hold the two sides from being uh, not as solid as they need to be. So I'll have to, I have to work on that and see if I can find a better way. The pins uh, do hold it in. Um, but I just don't think it, it's still gonna stick out a little bit. There's lots of just a little, I don't know, fine tuning, because the printer will do, uh, decide to put ridges in certain places along edges, which makes it not great when you're fitting stuff together all the time, which will f work better if it can pull together in different places. So, I'm thinking about how to do this, maybe whether or not I should use the pins or not. So I might be trying to do uh, bolts and it helps reduce the, I had to build up the holes a little bit because the pin is a little bit longer than the thickness of these edges. So I want for the pin to kind of sit and snap in there. These need to be lifted up just a little bit. I put chamfers on there. If I can elim eliminate those, that helps it print a little faster as well. If I'm using something other than the Technic pins, it's not as fussy, I think. The Technic pins are pretty fussy about how big it is. It needs to be the right size or else it'll be, uh, it won't, they won't hold in very well and they'll be hard, or they'll be hard to put in and they'll be, it, it won't be great, so. Although I like the idea of hooking them together, I'm not sure if that is actually necessary either. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a better way to design this part of the shelf. But I do, what I do like is like this design for the sides. Uh, whether or not I actually have the notches on there or not, but this. This is all that's really needed to hold the shelf up. That's all that's really needed. It'll hold the shelf up um, and keep it there. And you need this kind of angle on the top just to keep it from, to keep, give it some strength. So, so I'm hoping to try to get that uh, figured out in the next week or so. I do need more, more of these, these shelves for storage. Having got quite a lot of more parts to sort out and store from the uh, pad wall. So anyway, if you thought this was interesting and would like to see more, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and take it easy.